Hello everyone, in this video we're gonna set up Android Studio and Android Debug Bridge. Let's start. On your browser, Android Studio and you'll be able to see a website from Android developers that download Android Studio and apps and tools option. We just need to click that option and this is a page. As of now, the latest version is about Android Studio Make Ad Feature Drop. So you just need to download it, click here and you just need to agree to the terms and conditions and click download and you'll be able to download that after downloading you just need to double click and install android studio onto your computer so just double click and just click yes click next 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 install and after a couple of seconds the installation was complete before that we also need something more called ADB, Android Debug Bridge, which we will gonna install, which we will gonna configure in this video also. So let it install. So as you can see, the installation was completed. Next, finish. After that, it will automatically start and you'll be able to see this is our Android Studio. And you will be able to see an option called here you can add device manager and running device uh, something options like this so anyways what we are going to do now is just minimizing this and we are going to click here and click a new and new project and uh, you just need to click empty views activity and click next and after that select the language as java and select the operating system that you want to install here i am selecting android 8.1 oreo and clicking finish after that you'll be able to see a window like this just need to click here and you'll be able to see file edit view etc now you just need to move to the tools and click device manager in the device manager you'll be able to see add a new device so just click add a new device and you'll be able to see create virtual device option so click the virtual device option and you'll be able to see lots of devices pixel 2 pixel 9 pro excel as of now here we are selecting a device here as pixel 7 you can select a device that you want i am selecting here pixel 7 and it is recommended you to select the same and clicking next and after that you'll be able to see android versions available here android 16 latest is also available but i'm not gonna download that we just need some old version so i'm clicking show all and here we have android 13 14 15 16 and the service here is google play store and uh, we have some other system images available here so we just need to click here and i think uh, in the show all option this is it so i think you just need to install a version so i'm just clicking android 13 and you'll be able to see android 13 here so let us install android 13 so after that you just need to uh, you can see an option uh, you just in, uh, doesn't seeing a finish option or next option something like that i think you just need to click here and you'll be able to see the content right you just need to click finish and you just need to click yes and it will download it is like 1.6 gigabytes so always try to download the old version so that our viruses or explodes our learning makes it easier for us to learn so it will take some time to install this in the meantime we can install android debug bridge so which you can just go to the browser and search for adb android debug bridge download so when you search adb download you'll be able to see from the android developers the developer.android.com you'll be able to see the android debug bridge android studio just need to click that and you'll be you'll be able to see android debug bridge adb and some sentences you can see you can read what it is used for basically we are using this for command line activities you can just control your android device using command line by configuring android debugging debug bridge 
So here we have SDK manager and we have download it here option. Click the download it here option and you are now forwarded to SDK platform tools release notes. Here you'll be able to see download SDK platform tools for Windows, Mac, Linux. Here we are using our own Windows system. So never use your virtual machines Windows system. You can just use your own Windows system. Never install Android Studio and the rest of the tools that I'm telling in this video inside the virtual machine because I think it might not work properly. So you can just install and configure everything in your own Windows or in your own Mac, which is not inside VirtualBox. Okay, anyways, we are using Windows. I'm using Windows. I'm just clicking download SDK platform for Windows. Whichever operating system that you are using, just need to click that particular thing and click I have read and agree to with the about terms and conditions and click the download button. I already downloaded that. So here is the downloaded file. So it's this is platform tools latest windows so i'm just right clicking and extracting it here and after that you'll be able to see the platform tools which here is adb which is android debug bridge so when you click here and enter cmd which is a command prompt and enter adb here you'll be able to see this was now in your computer but the issue is you just need to implement these into the environment variables or else if you move somewhere and just open the command prompt then it will work it will not work adb as you can see adb is not recognized as internal or external command so you just need to add this platform tools path to the environment variables so that it will be able to work in any directory or else it will only work in this particular directory so here i'm just searching for environment variables here you can see this is the edit the environment variables tab and you will be able to see environment variables you can just click here and you'll be able to see the system variables here in the system variables we have the path option here you can just double click or click and edit this option click the edit or double click that and at the end you'll be able to see the new option just click the new and you'll be able to see an option to add you just need to paste the path of your platform tools so you just need to copy and paste this path to environment variables after that you can just click ok and click ok and click ok and after that now you can just open command prompt from anywhere and then the adb and it will work like this so this is how you configure adb in adb we have a lot of comments which we're gonna discuss in the upcoming videos but now i'm just entering adb devices and you'll be able to see the list of devices attached but here our device is getting installing our device is downloading but it's not currently configured so you just need to wait some time until it completes after that we will continue after waiting some time i'll be able to see the finish option i'm just clicking finish and it's done now you'll be able to see pixel 7 our smartphone here and some of the indexing or some of the processing was here and it's everything done as of now now i am able to see and start option here i'm just clicking that start option and i am see i'm able to see starting avd so which is android virtual device so it is starting as you can see connecting to the emulator and it's loading for the first time it will take a little time and as you can see the phone was now here you will be able to see an option here like three dot and in the three dot you have show zoom controls device frame resize move to options are available here and here you'll be able to see external controls and here record screen take screenshots and hardware inputs like the back button like this is back button home button and this is our button and we have the rotate button here and you'll be able to see an volume button and a power button here you also able to see something like this here and you can also click here to zoom but it's not necessary you can just use this and this is what we installed and the version here 
is when you scroll down and in the about emulator device option you'll be able to see this is android 13 which is what we installed right so yeah we just configured and uh, we just configured adb and started our smartphone and you learn some comments here like we can just click here to set, shut it down we can just click here to volume up and volume down option as you can see it's there right so and we have a rotate option we can just click here to back, go back and you can also use this gesture to go back like you can just use your mouse so it's basically a virtual device as you can see comes fast right so yeah when you scroll like this and you'll be able to move this like this right we can just uh, fit that there or you can just move it like this and you can also add multiple devices i think so here we just uh, configure this correctly right so and now we can just open the command prompt when you enter adp devices you'll be able to see our device was listed here right now we can control our device using command prompt and thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one